and welcome to my YouTube channel, everybody. My name is JJ Bink. I am a builder on The Sims 4. You may have seen me from such shows as TikTok, probably, or Reels these days. Anyways, I am here to show you guys what you've all been waiting for. It's a detailed tour of our Bridgerton, Bridgerton mansion. If you're like me, you've been binging the hell out of this series. I bloody love it. So I thought I had to build on The Sims because, you know, I want to take that obsession to the next level. Let the Let's dive right in, shall we? This is our Bridgerton house. Gorgeous, love it. What I love about this house is it has all these little purple little vines up the top, which is gorgeous, absolutely bloody stunning. Anyways, when I was watching the show, I was like, damn, I need to build this like right now. This is how the outside looks. I've built this in the Winden Windenburg world, which is like literally from the get together pack. As you can see, the yard is already kind of like made. So thanks Sims for that. <laughs> Anyways, didn't have to do the yard. So that was bloody beautiful, brilliant. So this is the outside, all of the detail. I did size up a toy carriage here to do this little kind of horse and carriage situation, as you can see here. We've also kind of used these purple little grapevine things from the country living living pack which is a good pack, I must say. I have used a lot of custom content because I'm addicted. So let's just uh, let's just go have a little, 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 little look through, shall we? Let's head to the front door, shall we? So this staircase, this is the Chateau staircase from Felix Andre, one of my favorite content creators and one of the best, a perfect CC creators to make a build like this. So let's head on inside. So there's a little mini hallway here. Very, very skinny hallway. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not proud. Okay. It's a mansion, but there's only so much I could fit. I must say, you know, I'd already done the staircase. I already put the effort in. I was like, damn it. It should be bigger than this. Do you know what I mean? If we're talking about accuracy, I felt like this needed to be a lot bigger, but stop it. They get what they're given. You know, it's the Sims for goodness sakes. All right. Anyways, so this is kind of what the inside looks like. I'm going to show you guys a quick tutorial on how I did the slit staircase. So I just drew a square up to the platform using those arrow keys, the raise platform button. I knocked down those walls and then I made sure I added the staircases on top on the edges of that platform. And then you spread them all the way out. Make sure the staircases is up to the edge of the platform so you can create like the railings that connect to kind of create that kind a swooping effect. So this is how it looks. That gives you that split effect and that's literally all you have to do. And what I had to do is also just knock out those little walls that appear underneath the staircase. You just get the hammer tool and you just kind of knock them out. In my case with the Chateau kit, there's these cool little kind of curvy lips. That gives it that little outward flare effect, like that little mermaid tail, whatever you call it. What's the technical term? So you just carefully alt place them down in order to place things freely. You need to have BB dot move objects on and then hold down the alt key and press left mouse key and then smoothly adjust now with these railings from this custom content you have to place them one by one it's such a pain <laughs> to do it oh, but it's worth it it looks beautiful in the end you just got to align it place it up against the railings you press the nine key to lift into the right spots and they should all connect so as you can see here I've knocked those little walls out down the bottom because we wanted to create that seamless kind of effect I also colored in the platform in order to color in the platform you've got to go into the the foundation section of your build kind of the house. I wish I could tuck that in a little bit more. There's only so much you could do with the sims. But that's kind of how you do that split staircase. If you want to open it up from the top, you just want to draw a room surrounding what area you want exposed, as you can see here. And then you just press the hammer tool, knock down that that the floor, and then it opens it all up. Bob's your uncle. Love that. Love that. And this is the final product. You decorate, you add your railings properly, unlike what I was doing in that tutorial initially, but it all comes together nicely, gorgeous, beautiful. I must say the favorite scene or the most iconic scene in Bridgerton was when Eloise yells out to Daphne, Daphne, you must make haste. That's like an Aussie rendition of it. It's so good. And I feel like everybody loves that line because whenever when I uploaded this on Reels and TikTok and all that stuff, everybody was just like, Daphne, you must make haste. It was so good. Anyways, we've done this cute little balconies up the top here, which is a cheeky little vibe. Use a little archways, a lot of archways, a lot of skinny little hallways. This is how she looks up the top. 
stuff. So this is also like a bit of the ballroom area as well because isn't entryway the ballroom? Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. I didn't make a separate ballroom because I thought when I was looked, watching back, they make the entryway the ballroom. But obviously this would be a lot bigger than I've actually done it. So that is, that is the kind of the details of the entryway. Well done, we did it. Good job. Room number one, done. So through this door, we've done a study for Anthony or Anthony or what's Collins study. So it's a bit of a mix, a bit of a combination. We have like Papa Bridgerton over here staring at Anthony and being like, why don't you learn to love, son? That's what's happening here. And he's just like, father, tell me, how can I love? Anyways, that's what's happening there. Uh, that's how I envisioned it because I thought, you know, let's strategically place the desk to face the painting. Yes, it's not exactly like correct to how the film looks, but again, you get what you're given, okay? Anyways, beautiful little study, nice warm tones, beautiful browns, lots of custom content. I do must, I must say. Also, another thing, this is base game, this little cool little fire pokers, right? Can I just say, they are so hard to find in the game. Like, where are they? Like, I always, whenever I'm like, oh, I need to add that, I always never know where to, where to get them. Another thing that I wish that they had was those little fireplace, little divider things on top of the fires. Fire, you know, the little kind of the guards? That is something I wish for The Sims to actually add into the game. I had custom content of it, but I didn't end up using it because it just didn't work. Just didn't fit the vibe, you know? And we're all about the vibes in this house, all right? You'll notice in a lot of these builds is I've scattered a lot of these little whiskey thingamabobbies everywhere. And also these cool bookcases are from the Chateau kit by Felix Andre. It's not really kit, it's just the Chateau custom content. All right, now we're moving across to the famous drawing room. I'm so excited to show you guys this one. This is the iconic drawing room in the film that you see them hang out in a lot of the time. So this is how it looks. First of all, I built this and I was just like, this is a huge room. How am I gonna fit everything in? And surprisingly, everything f fit like really, really well. I was like, oh, well the two, well the two, woo. <laughs> So this is the kind of the area where the 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 men court the the British and the ladies. Do you know what I mean? They go hang out here and they're like, "I will give you five camels in exchange for your daughter." You know what ever happened to those days? I don't even know. I don't think it's how, how it worked back in those days. In fact, I don't think anything in Bridgerton is historically accurate. Accurate, but I don't care. We just want to see hot people get it on. Okay, that's all we care about. We don't care about historically accurate things, right? We just want to see Anthony get it on, you know? Who's an Anthony girly? I am. <laughs> Anthony or the Duke? I think it's up to... Oh, people like Colin as well. Colin looks like Jack Frost. Somebody... A meme came up the other day where they compared Jack Frost, you know, from like the George Clooney Jack Frost and Colin. And I was like... I cannot get that out of my head now. So watching it, all I can see is Jack Frost. <laughs> ah! Anyways... That was just like, well, that ruined it for me. So Penelope Soz Hun, but you chose the wrong guy. Looks like Jack Frost, looks like a damn snowman. Another thing about what I love about Penelope is like Penelope is a boss bish. You know what I mean? Penelope is a boss. We love Penelope in this house. We do indeed. Because I feel like back in those days, women couldn't be bosses, okay? They just had to marry. And Penelope is breaking that norm and being like, yo, I can write. I can write cool things. Yes, I'm a little bit of a gossip, but stuff it. You know, why not? What's the difference between them and news outlets? That's what I say. All right, that's what I say. Let the lady live. My friends are just like, oh, you know, Penelope gets really annoying sometimes. And I'm just like, you're just jealous. I still get jealous. Okay, speaking of the drawing room. I have done another drawing room. So let's go in and go and have a look. It's the men's drawing room where um, Benedict paints and Anthony eats the fruit bowl. Do you guys remember that, that episode? Because I've captured it here. Because I've, you know, I'm all about those details. So another drawing room. The men's drawing room because the women don't deserve a separate drawing room because sexism. <laughs> Misogynistic. <laughs> if I do say so. <laughs> 
<laughs> anyways, but it's okay. They're forgiving because they're really nice to look at. So you know what? Anyways, this is the little men's drawing room, and then this is like the, the area where Be Benedict is painting, and Anthony's just like, Mer! and then he's eating the fruit, and, and Benedict is like, I was painting that. You know what I mean? That was that scene. It's a vibe. It's a vibe. Does anybody else get the vibe that Benedict is potentially like by? Does anybody get that? Vibe? I kind of low key want that to happen because I wonder how like they did showcase two guys together in like the artist scene and I was like oh and I'm like oh my god does this mean Benedict has a little bit of a side you know which I'm like I'm here for it let love win love be love but then he keeps just going off with bloody older ladies and I'm just like you know what I am an older lady myself so you know what Benedict can knock on my door any day <laughs> okay I'm a creep I really am so anyways just ignore the plants clipping in the corners there nothing to see here nothing to see here Perf completion over perfection in most of my builds i always add a little cheese platter so you're going to find this in a few of my youtube videos i'm going to be um, adding little cheese platters just a little cheese platter just to kind of finish it off is is what i say so this is our dining room we don't see this room often but this is where they're all kind of sitting down i love how i've aligned those pot plants isn't that fantastic completion over perfection guys you can tell it was an afterthought like look how off center that is <laughs> <laughs> whoopsies again another cheese platter can't go wrong can't go wrong this is our cute little dining area super gorgeous we love that we love that another whiskey bottle because why not they love their whiskey I'm not gonna lie also I cannot get rid of that trimming I don't know where it came from and I can't get rid of it and I've tried to delete it so just don't look at it not gonna lie when they drink whiskey I'm just like I want to drink whiskey but whenever I drink whiskey I'm like eh, it's so powerful you know what I mean Sorry, I just need to start the timer for my son for his nap. He had his nap. Responsible parenting. So that's the that's the dining area. She's gorgeous. She's wonderfully full. We love her. We've also kind of decorated the hallway space as the best we can. There's not so much in there. So I just kind of did like a little carpet runner throughout. And these cute little tables. These are literally my favorite tables. These are from Charlie Pancakes. This table. Oh fits perfectly underneath like a window with curtains because don't you hate it when you add like a table in front of a window that has curtains and the curtain clips like look how perfect that looks symmetrical we love that we love that when I placed it I was like oh that's gorgeous gorgeous 10 out of 10 all right let's head on upstairs shall we make sure to follow me on all of my socials I am live on TikTok three days a week if you want to watch me build I am a chaotic builder follow me on my Instagram I upload my reels there and follow me here on YouTube of course and you know what follow me on Twitch why not I'm not really live on there at the moment but you know stuff and maybe one day who knows we'll get back on there make sure you join my patreon my patreon is another way to support me on my journey on being able to do this full time here are all the different kind of subscriptions you could do you could just support me with the supporter squad you get access to the cheeky smack bottom uh channel on discord where it's just an exclusive little little area on discord where we can chat and hang out or the one that i recommend the most is build a buddy where i will package all of the build trays so you don't have to download all of the bloody custom content i've already got it done for you i've been uploading a few of my build trays on there and if you want to see any more builds in there then let me know because i'm still working on uploading them all but that's where you can subscribe there and then smack bottoms is when you're just a blip naughty and you just want to support me that extra much and the next Excuse me is like absolutely ridiculous you are going to need to be license and registration arrested if you if you subscribe to this one because this is if you want to support me even further and if you do then you yeah I will I will bring the cops over to your house all right but I also thank you massively at the end of every one of my sims tiktok live streams I always say thank you to every one of my paid patreons so make sure you check me out on tiktok my three days a week I end up uh, uh, you get a little shout out at the end if I don't forget because of who I am as a person <laughs> But also, I won't forget, I promise. All right, love you. Bye!